When other little girls wanted to be ballet dancers, I kind of wanted to be a vampire. If being sane is thinking there's something wrong with being different, I'd rather be completely fucking mental. If I make a fool of myself, who cares? I'm not frightened by anyone's perception of me. I don't believe in guilt, I believe in living on impulse as long as you never intentionally hurt another person and don't judge people in your life. I think you should live completely free. I like someone who is a little crazy, but coming from a good place. I think scars are sexy because it means you made a mistake that led to a mess. If you ask people what they've always wanted to do, most people haven't done it. That breaks my heart. Without pain, there would be no suffering. Without suffering, we would never learn from our mistakes. To make it right, pain and suffering is the key to all windows. Without it, there is no way of life. Anything that feels good couldn't possibly be bad. We come to love not by finding the perfect person, but by learning to see an imperfect person perfectly. You'd think, what if I make a mistake today, I'll regret it. I don't believe in regret, I feel everything leads us to where we are and we have to just jump forward, mean well, commit and just see what happens. Barefoot or first thing in the morning, I feel beautiful. I didn't always feel that way, but I feel that way now. When somebody loves you, and when you make somebody else happy, when your presence seems to make them happy, you suddenly feel like the most beautiful person in the world. Wherever I am, I always find myself looking out the window wishing I was somewhere else. If I think more about death than some other people, it is probably because I love life more than they do. Love one person, take care of them until you die. You know, raise kids. Have a good life. Be a good friend. And try to be completely who you are. And figure out what you personally love. And like go after it with everything you've got no matter how much it takes. People say that you're going the wrong way when it's simply a way of your own. The truth is I love being alive. And I love feeling free. So if I can't have those things then I feel like a caged animal and I'd rather not be in a cage. I'd rather be dead. And it's real simple. And I think it's not that uncommon. I'm with a man who's evolved enough to look at my body and see it as more beautiful because of the journey it has taken. I find flaws attractive. I find scars attractive. I never felt settled or calm. 
You can't really commit to life when you feel that. I need someone physically stronger than me. I am always on top. It's really unfortunate. I am begging for the man that can put me on the bottom. Or the woman. Anybody that can take me down. Just start off with the same goals in mind. If you have the same values, same goals, then you'll be on track for the same future. Save one-third, live on one-third, and give away one-third. I always play women I would date. When I get logical and I don't trust my instincts, that's when I get in trouble. There doesn't need to be a God for me. There's something in people that's spiritual, that's godlike. I don't feel like doing things just because people say things, but I also don't really know if it's better to just not believe in anything, either. What nourishes me, also destroys me. I don't believe in guilt. I believe in living on impulse as long as you never intentionally hurt another person and don't judge people in your life. I think you should live completely free. I used to think I was unstable because I had this thirst for something. I could never figure out what it was. I couldn't sleep at night, and I always wanted to be somewhere else. I have a window tattooed, this little box, and it's because wherever I was, I wanted to be somewhere else. And, I always saw myself, wherever I was in life, staring out the window. The mind wants to forget because it weighs so much on the heart and soul. I am tired of crying and feeling so helpless. I want to breathe again just for a little while. I want to be outspoken. I want to say my opinions and I hope they're taken in the right way. I don't want to stop being free. And I won't. Honestly, I like everything. Boyish girls, girlish boys, the heavy and the skinny. I don't think the money people in Hollywood have ever thought I was normal. But I am dedicated to my work. And that's what counts. Without pain, there would be no suffering. Without suffering, we would never learn from our mistakes. To make it right, pain and suffering is the key to all windows. Without it, there is no way of life. I'm still having trouble convincing Pax that underwear and pants go together. Underwear is not pants. It is a myth that rape is an inevitable part of conflict. There is nothing inevitable about it. It is a weapon of war aimed at civilians. It has nothing to do with sex, everything to do with power. It is done to torture and humiliate innocent people and often very young children. I don't believe in guilt. I believe in living on impulse as long as you never intentionally hurt another person and don't judge people in your life. 
I think you should live completely free. What decides where we are born and into what kind of life and why? I'm not somebody that just wants to hold up a white flag and say, let's all just get along. I think people that do horrible things should be held accountable. Women have a certain sexuality and I think their bodies are beautiful and I'm not embarrassed to explore that in a film. But there are things you get offered that are vulgar and violent, just like there's a side of me that's vulgar and violent.